problem in the UK and indeed all over the world. Even though we have new technologies such as chip and pin coming in, it's still incredibly easy to clone credit cards. The general rule is if it can be made, it can be copied. Jess has got a part-time job waitressing in this cafe. But a cup of coffee here is going to cost rather a lot more than you might think. Because this waitress is card cloning. Is everything OK? Yeah. It's time to settle the bill. So Jess brings over the keypad terminal for her customers' card payments. Thank you. Oh. That was clumsy. Or was it? Thank you. Let's go back and see what Jess is really up to. To the customers, Jess appears as if butter wouldn't melt. But what was she doing in the ladies earlier? It only takes minutes for her to attach a high-tech skimming device that is used by crooks the world over. This reads the magnetic strip on any credit or debit card <laughs> and stores the details so that they can be used later to make duplicates or even be sold on to organised crime gangs. Jess drops the card on purpose so she can skim it without arousing any suspicion. Here it is again. From a different angle, the swipe is clearly visible. Jess even sneaks a peek at the pin as it's entered. Jess has just walked away with his card details and his pin. He may as well have written her a blank cheque. So how does this work? The cards that Jess has swiped are recorded in this dictaphone as sound files from the magnetic stripe on the back of the card. Now, in order to get the data from that, I have to connect this to a computer which reads the sound file. Like that, that comes up as a waveform. If we then run that through a special program, it'll extract the data, which will give me the number, the name, and everything I need to create an exact duplicate of your credit card. Back at the cafe, these customers are also going to lose their card details. But this time, Jess mounts the card skimming device on her waist. OK, it won't be a minute. There. It's all done very casually. Actually, um, I'll bring the terminal up to you. I'm not trying to take your card away. It'll be two minutes. It's a cheeky touch to insist on the customers keeping hold of their card. Who could suspect such an honest waitress? Again, a different angle shows the swipe clearly. Jess repositions the skimmer in her apron. By making out the card needs cleaning before it can be read, she gets away with a sneaky swipe right in front of the victim. Here it is again from a different angle. Jess doesn't even look away as the pin is entered. These people are lucky. They won't be losing their card details and they have learnt an important lesson about card skimming fraud. You don't expect it to be as easy as it is. And it probably happens a lot more than you expect it to as well. And it does actually make you wonder how many times it has happened in the past without you realising. One minute is swiped. And within ten minutes, your whole bank is cleared. Once your credit card information has been stolen, there are several things that can happen. Your card can be cloned and used here in the UK or the data can be sold on the black market via the internet. So your card can be used on the other side of the world within 24 hours. Always keep an eye out for your card and always, always cover your pin. Card cloning by physical copying cards has been around for a long time. It's probably one of the oldest scams. It's probably been around as long as magnetic stripe credit cards have been around. 
It only takes a second or so to clone a credit card, so you need to be very careful. Don't let your credit card out of your sight. Don't let anyone wander away with your credit card. Always know what you're using your credit card for. Most credit card companies are very good at dealing with, with stray transactions. And as long as you stay on board and keep an eye on your uh, statement, you should be able to do something about it.